everybody. Welcome back to the show. I was just telling our next guest that uh, I sewed all the beads. On yeah, the he beads. actually asked. Uh, ben Cotton is uh, <laughs> starring in Harper's Island, and he's also got a theater piece starring up, uh, starting up soon called Dying City, and he joins us now to talk about it. And, he, yeah, Forbes, you thought she made him? Well, you never know. You yeah. overestimate her ability. Maybe during really. the hockey game, she's <laughs> yeah, sitting there just sewing that one by one. And you know. Ben, you're still alive. Harper's Island, of course, another episode uh, aired last night. You're still breathing. Still now, you breathing. have to explain to the audience why, uh, how this show works. Well, uh, to start with, it's a show about a bunch of people that go to an island for a wedding. Um, and they start dying. It There's is a, killer a murder among them. mystery yeah, somewhere yeah. in there. Uh, and the beauty of this, and, and we were talking about it with one of the actors before, is that it's finite. Like, I know there's a beginning, there's a middle, and there's going to be an end of this yeah, thing. Yeah, so I think it's, it's July 2nd, I believe. It's done. You'll get the whole story. And you guys really experienced that as actors as well. Uh, explain how the process worked with the, the scripts and how they, they let you guys know what was going on. Well, I don't think anybody knew. I mean, there must have been some actors that knew, okay, well, you're going to be in X amount of episodes or whatever, but we didn't know if we were going to be there for two, maybe three, maybe the whole thing. You don't right. know. You and don't so, know like, who the bad one, guy was? No. I don't even think, I don't even think the person responsible for the killings knew until <laughs> like they close were. to the end. Now, so they kill off one person per episode? Is that how it works? Sometimes I, more. I've, seen, Sometimes a, yeah, I've more. seen a couple episodes yeah. where they've had really? multiples. I, th I think there was three one night yeah. on the second so night or third night. For those who don't know how it works for actors like yourself, you're on yeah. the show, you get hired for it, it's called Harper's Island, you get sure. a character, but you guys were only given your scripts, um, I guess piecemeal, so no one would know the end. So how was it for you? Would you flip to see if you were alive once you got a script? Yeah, well, <laughs> we would get, we would get, like at the end of one episode, you know, say if you finish on Friday, we're going to start shooting on Monday for the next one. They Friday night as you're leaving, here you are, <laughs> sign dun, dun, this, dun. you know, <laughs> and and so you would read the script then. And I think, I think when people were you know, being killed, they got a phone call, you know. Right. Oh yeah, we talked about this before. before the script the came out. The phone call from the producer. A phone call came from the producer, and so you program his number in your phone ahead of time, so that when he calls, you're like, well, I'm not answering that. And <laughs> and the crew had a pool. Uh, yeah, a there was pool. there was a death pool. You know, they, everybody was talking. I think it's so and so. I think it's so and so, and nobody knew. Oh, that's so. It was fun. crazy. And the but end, it was someone exciting. pocketed some coin. Yeah. yeah. Based on yeah tell us about uh, the fellow that you play. Uh, I play a guy named Shane Pierce. He's a local on the island, on Harper's Island, which is Bowen Island. Yeah. <laughs> is where right. I shot it. <laughs> if it looks um, familiar. And, you know, he's that typical, well, I don't want to say typical, but he's the small town guy, local guy who doesn't really care for the outsiders that much. Right. Yeah. And, uh, he doesn't care for he doesn't many care for people. I think yeah, I'm still trying to find, little... we're only four episodes in, but it's, it's kind of tough to find some other than his buddy uh, uh, that he sort of really... You know, kind yeah, of he's a loyal friend to like one. To one yeah. guy now, you're and from anybody his else. Fishing buddy, and now, that's you're it. From a small town. Is it, it, it? We're about to look at a scene in a bar. A fight breaks out. Is this true to the small town life, in your opinion? Yeah, I, <laughs> I, I saw a lot of fights growing up. I will in the second small that town. opinion. Yeah, <laughs> this is and, the kind uh, of thing that would happen. Yeah, it's, it's like a sport. bit crazy. Yeah, we'll, we'll, uh, in the clip that we we'll see, I'm, I'm having a little fight, and I, I've never been in a fight in my life. I, you avoided them the I've whole time always in the small to, town? You know, talk my way out of them. Yeah, yeah. But, but yeah, this is, this is a guy who instigates. Is this you the know. pilot episode that we're about to see? This is from the pilot, yeah. The pilot, okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. let's have a look at uh, Ben playing Shane in Harper's Island. Getting his violence on. bothering <laughs> you? No, Shane. I haven't even met the guy. Oh, well, allow me. This is J.D. Dunn. His family used to work summers on the island. J.D., this is Kelly. We used to go out. You like the tattoo? I did it. You want to show them the other ones you have? Don't do this. What? It's cool. Me and JD, we're just catching up, right? So, I heard you tried to whack yourself again. Now, was that just an attention getting kind of thing, or were you really, really sad? You know what? You two probably have a lot to talk about, what with all the cutting and the suicidal... 
I love that. So as a, as a, as a sort of lifetime small town pacifist, <laughs> that's a, it's a fairly rare trait. Um, what's it like when you get to play someone like that and you get to sort of have some fun with it and, and exercise that part of, part of you know, the personality? Oh, it's fun. Yeah, yeah it's a trip. You don't, you know. You can't do things like that in real life without yeah, getting yeah. antagonized. Yeah. You know? yeah. And I, and on this show, I antagonize a lot. You yeah. know, I'm very. My mother called me. She's like, "You're mean." Well, I, I was. Wanna, I was you know, pretty like, opposite of who you are in person. I don't see you in this one. <laughs> just like, before. Well, that's good, I, guess, <laughs> I don't you know? see you. That's such a mum thing to <laughs> yeah. say. I just don't see my baby <laughs> in there. It's not anywhere. my boy. Uh, not I was watching. laughing because you reminded me when you when you did a little baby voice. Like that's what my big brother used to do to torture me. You know, and just that idea to be able to sit beside someone. Do you someone want to punch him? And just Is that what you're getting at? You know, but that fun of pick, 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 pick. Yeah. Like you say, you never get to do yeah. that. So you get yeah. to get in there. And see get... how far you can push somebody. And the <laughs> show will let me do that a few times. Now yeah. let's uh, talk about the, the play that you're doing. Okay. Uh, give us the spiel. Uh, the play is called Dying City. Uh, it's uh, by a guy named Christopher Shin. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, it's opening, uh, it's running from the 6th to the 16th. And yeah. you play twins in this? I play twins, yeah. It's a two-hander, but I'm playing twins, so there's both. three characters. Oh, I was going to say both. I'm playing both. So you're playing both. <laughs> 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 like, wow, well, that's got to uh, So three people, myself. but you're playing two of those. <laughs> right, right. Those characters. And um, I was trying this morning to think about, like, how do I sum up what's it about? It's pretty heavy, this one. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of things in this. It's a heavy play. I saw a quote from the playwright on his website or his Facebook or something that said, if a way to the better be, it exacts a full look at the worst. Hmm. And I think this play, I think that's definitely in this play. You've got people that are going through varying degrees of guilt and grief and... Yep. Uh, the sort of passive aggressive relationship that they have as a result of those things and so some pretty heavy stuff in it. I mean, it's not without its humor, but it's certainly yeah. not. And you're in a, a small comedy. space on this one too, which mm -hmm. really, you know, I, I would mm -hmm. think would would sort of add to the impact a little bit as well, because it's very there's nowhere intimate. for you to hide, and there's also nowhere really for the audience. Like if you go to see this, you're gonna see it. Yeah, you're literally like I was saying before. Like I mean. You, there, there will be legs like here. <laughs> you know, stand up, and there will be people wow. if you turn too fast and kick them. And that's intense, though. It must be intense you know. for the audience as well as yourselves as actors. Yeah, you're gonna find it's out. It's an intense. <laughs> yeah, you'll find out. Come <laughs> see. So make sure you check out Dying City. It will be on May 6th to the 16th at Little Mountain Studios. You can go to dyingcity.ca to find out more info, and you can check out Harper's Island. It airs Thursdays 10 o'clock on Global. And if you missed the episodes, you can go to cbs.com and catch up. Play a little catch up. Thanks, Ben. Thank that you. Was awesome, man. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. We're gonna take a break. When we come back, Kira Leung will be joining us. Freestyle skier and Olympic hopeful. Tell us her story right after this. Hey.